We are rolling. Today we will demonstrate the use of the SureView Urine Pregnancy Test Kit when performing a urine pregnancy test. When a request is ordered for a pregnancy test from the provider, assure that you perform or wear your personal protective equipment, laboratory coat, and gloves. A symbol timer, marker or patient label, SureView test kit, and patient specimen. Check the kit expiration date. Assure that your kit is indated. Do not use expired test kits. Confirm the patient specimen identification. Two identifiers must be used. That is, patient's complete name and date of birth. Set timer. The test is performed for three minutes. Set timer for three minutes. Using channel two, we will set our timer for three minutes. Open test kit. The test kit consists of the test kit itself and a dropper. Label the test device with two patient identifiers, that is patient name and date of birth, or use the patient label. Mix urine specimen. Pipette urine specimen into dropper and vertically add three drops or dispense three drops of specimen into the round well. Start timer for three minutes. Do not move the test kit during the sample testing procedure. Close urine sample. It's important that you do not touch the test kit during the procedure. The procedure consists of a migration of the urine sample through the from the round well to the testing area. As you can see in the testing area, there is a C and a T. The C is an internal control line. The T is the test line. As the sample migrates, you can see a line form, a red line or pinkish line being formed at the C line. This is your internal control. This internal control verifies that your test is operating correctly. Assure that you note and document the internal control line. Your test line is the test determines whether or not your test is positive or negative. If a line is formed at the T, then your test will be positive. If you have a line at your T and at your C line. If there is no line formed at the T line at the T, but a line at the C, then your pregnancy test will be negative. If there is no line at your C and a line at your T, then your test is invalid and must be repeated. Always assure when reading your test results that you have an internal control line, that is the line at your C. Sure, when you ha perform your test, that you record your patient test date, patient name with two identifiers that is, complete name, date of birth, your control or internal control line, and your patient result. And initial 
your result. If your pregnancy test is positive, in addition to documenting on your pregnancy test log, you must also document on your positive pregnancy log. Indicate the location of the test. That three minutes, we must read our test exactly three minutes. Do not read three minutes and two seconds, but three minutes exactly. This patient test has a line at the C and no line at the T. This patient test result is negative. We document this on our pregnancy test log. Indicate the test date. Eleven fifteen. 11. The patient last name and first name. In this case, patient test. The patient's date of birth, which is 3-29-1974. The provider, which is indicated on our label. The Patient result, in this case, is negative, and your internal control, just mark as OK, and initial your result. After recording your patient result, deposit your test kit in a biohazard bag to dispose of the test kit and dispose of the patient sample. If your test is positive, assure that it's recorded on the positive pregnancy log and submit the positive pregnancy log each Friday to the Director of Perinatal Program. After deposit, discarding your sample, assure that you remove your gloves and wash your hands.